Oh. Ooh. And I thought you could get the edge. Hit the blue. Only on seven and five. Could have oh. been a lot worse. Yeah, but what's the referee thinking here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rear rack. Oh, well, that's uh, an answer I didn't expect. But, yeah, common sense. 100. An absolute masterclass there from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Mm. In the end, the pressure was just too Mark much. Mark on 29. And he'll be relieved. Okay. So, Ronnie, you could say, was gifted that frame in the end, but he'll take it gladly. Oh, it's come up a fraction short, Seven. but what a pot. Eight. That's a stunning. 81. Graham Dot made a maximum break in the qualifiers, but didn't get through to the crucible. And that could be the end of the effort. 88. That cannon, unless he can pull a double off here, he might do this, you know. Get in. No double, but it was a great effort. That's the end. One. So he's going to win it in good style. Big matches to come, of course. It's only the quarter final. But he'd be pleased to have got through this one because Mark Allen, very, very dangerous opponent. Six. Just hasn't produced in this match, but you never take him lightly. Eight. Finishing off in style, lovely bit of cannon there. Yeah, looking at him, John. I think he's going to take some stopping. Eleven. Stephen Hendry might be twitching a bit, John, I think. The old seventh equaling world championship. 15. And that winner is going to be Ronnie also. Not bothered about Seven the match. black shirts. Mark Allen, Sean Mark wishes you the best of luck to the rest of the tournament. Nice to see. He played really well. The first session brought the back of his match. No reason for Mark Allen to beat himself up. He met Ronnie O'Sullivan in vintage form, and that is a hard pill to swallow.